In this video, I'll show you how to use GAC 900, which is a medium that you can mix with acrylic paint in order to apply to fabric uh, to use with stencils, stamps, and hand painting to create fabric such as this. You'll want to put down some paper uh, underneath the surface where you'll be working to protect it. You'll need a bowl for mixing, the GAC medium, acrylic paint, you can use any color. Uh, you could use a foam roller such as this. You could also use a hand carved linoleum stamp. You could also experiment with cutting something out of a sponge or other material that's squishy. And you'll need some brushes. Begin by mixing one part acrylic paint with one part GAC medium together. Again, you can use any color of acrylic paint. Stir it together using a brush until it's well combined. It's a good idea to do a test first using a scrap piece of fabric. Brush your paint onto the fabric and see if it's the right density. If you need it to be darker or less watery, just add some more acrylic paint. The first technique we'll try is printing with the linoleum carving. For this, you can choose to roll the paint out using a foam roller like this, or you can brush it on. Apply the paint to the carving using the foam roller. Make sure you don't apply too much paint or else it'll squeeze out the edges. Simply put it face down on the fabric and apply pressure with your hand. You can do this multiple times to create patterns. Next we'll try using the paintbrush. Again, make sure you just apply a thin amount of paint so that it doesn't oversaturate the image. Brush it on, put it face down, and apply pressure. You can see the difference in results from using the foam roller versus brushing it on. This is what happens if you use too much paint. Next, we'll try stamping with the sponge. Make sure that the paint is not too watery or oversaturated or else it'll squish out the edges of the shape. You can use a geometric shape like this to create patterns, and you'll also get that interesting texture from the sponge. The process might be a little bit messy though. Another technique you could try is making a stencil by cutting it with an X-Acto out of Mylar or something like cardstock. You could also use pre-made stencils. Make sure to hold the stencil in place on top of your fabric. You could also use spray adhesive to help keep it in position. Then roll a light layer of paint onto the stencil as you hold it in place. If you put too much paint or try to brush it on with a brush, the paint will spew out the edges of the stencil and you'll get a bad result like this. So just make sure you use a foam roller and don't put too much paint. Hand painting is also a great option with this medium. It allows the paint to flow more freely and be more integrated with the fabric. So those are just a few of the ways that you can experiment with using the GAC medium. Um, it is a good alternative to just painting directly with acrylic paint um, or even using ink because it has a softer hand so the paint isn't going to come out as thick and it'll be more absorbed into the fabric. Just make sure that when you're done painting and your fabric has dried that you do heat set it. You can do this either using a iron or throwing it in the dryer.